Remember when Jesus first disclosed himself as the Messiah? Those of you that have walked through the gospel with us, he did it to the Samaritan woman at the well. She's the first one to hear him publicly proclaim himself. I want to just point out something that cannot be ignored. Jesus first announces himself to somebody that is considered very much an outcast, a woman, somebody whose reputation is not good, whose reality is not good. And in his day, to reveal and to put such weight in the witness of a woman was absolutely shocking. You would never ever do it this way. You could immediately be discredited in their culture. I know that seems foreign to us, but it was true then. Jesus uses unlikely witnesses all the way through his ministry. It's never about our resumes. He doesn't call the equipped, he equips the called. It starts with him initiating, us responding. Yes, Lord, and then his miraculous infilling. This is what you see all the way through the Bible. And it's always personal. Abraham, yes, Lord. Saul, why are you persecuting me? Yes, Lord. Mary? Yes, teacher? I just want to ask you this morning, have you heard the call personally? Are you in a relationship with your Redeemer and not just a religion? It's very, very easy to get attached and even make commitments to and demonstrate a resume building set of activities in church and attached to religion that have nothing to do with being in Christ or having been redeemed. John chapter 20, you will see, is all about the gospel of Jesus Christ being spirit-empowered and personal in a eternally transformative way for the purpose of bringing God glory through the sharing of his gospel.